Just over a week after President Trump fired Secretary of State Mark Esper, his replacement announced the withdrawal of thousands of U.S. troops from the Middle East. 2,000 troops will be withdrawn from Afghanistan and 500 will be brought back from Iraq by mid-January, just days before President-elect Joe Biden is set to take office. The announcement was met with blowback almost immediately. Within hours, rockets were launched near the U.S. Embassy in Iraq, and on Capitol Hill, members of both parties are condemning the decision the wrong thing to do. We want our troops home, but let's not bring them home in, in body bags. I think a precipitous drawdown in either Afghanistan or Iraq would be a mistake. Opponents of the administration's decision to withdraw troops say it will leave the remaining U.S. forces in the area more vulnerable to attacks.